this robot, you could program it to technically kill somebody, but, I mean, it's not going to just do it off of a whim. It doesn't have really free will. It's actually called um, Project X Species, and what it is is I made a robotic apparatus, and the purpose of my project was to create a robot that people could actually afford and could have purpose in society. We're still working out the uh, legs, trying to get them to walk and everything. Each one of these motors has about 2,000 ounces of torque, so it has the capabilities to walk. It's got an accelerometer up here, allows it to balance. A ping sensor right here allows it to see objects and people. And it's got touch sensors right here on the bottom. And what those actually do is they tell the robot when it has contact on the floor. Mm -hmm. So when it's walking, it'll know if it's leaning too far to one side, when its foot touches the ground, and it'll be able to maneuver around objects. Right now, pretty much all it, I have it set on to do is a presentation mode. So, I mean, just like when people are walking by, it would, uh, you know, just look at them, look around, and then I'll wave at them as they go. Wow. Another program I have is where this will actually follow somebody when it's walking in front. It'll wait until it detects motion, and then wherever the motion is, like, it'll detect an object 15 feet away from it while everything else is like 30 feet away from it in the background. So it'll follow that 15 foot distance object and it'll just keep looking and looking until it walks, you know, maybe 30 feet away. And those two boards are actually the computer system inside of it and they tell everything what to do. And just getting those two boards to work together and all the sensors to work systematically, that's the next step. And if we can get that going, then we have a feeling that within a couple months, maybe three or six, we can get this thing to walk. A lot of scientists out there are actually talking about how we should adapt our society so that robots can work with us and perform functions that we do as humans. But really, in my mind, the most important thing about a robot is getting it adapted to our society so we don't change anything but that this single robot will have all the functions that a normal human has. Maybe not mentally, but at least physically.